Good morning, Fellowship Kids. It's me, Mr. Levi. I'm so excited to see you guys on this amazing Sunday. We're going to do some worship. We're going to do two songs. The first song we're going to do is called Mercy is Falling. This song is so much fun because it's got some fun hand motions to it. Mercy is falling, is falling, is falling. Little rain fingers. Mercy is falling like a sweet spring rain. Mercy is falling, is falling all over me. And we're going to say, over me, over me, over me. But when we do that, y'all can jump around. If it's a okay place to jump, make sure your mom and dad are okay with it. Over me, over me. We're going to jump up and down. Mercy is falling, is falling. Sweet spring rain. Mercy is falling, is falling all over me. Over me, over me, over me. Here we go. Ayo. So we're going to make a little A shape with our hands. We can't do the line in the middle, but so. Ayo. That's what we're going to do. Ayo, I receive your mercy. Ayo, I receive your grace. Oh, I skipped ahead. I already went to the dance part. Not the dance part yet. Ayo, I receive your mercy. Ayo, I receive your grace. Ayo, I will dance forevermore. That's when the dance part comes up. Whenever the dance part comes up, you guys do your best possible dance moves. I will dance forevermore. So. Ayo, I receive your mercy. I almost did it again. Oh, I want it. Ayo, I receive your mercy. Ayo, I receive your grace. Ayo, I will dance forevermore. That's when you do the dance move. I just love the dance part. That's my favorite part. All right. Here we go. Let's do it. Mercy is falling, is falling, is falling. Mercy is falling like a sweet spring rain. Mercy is falling, is falling all over me, over me, over me, over me. Mercy is falling, is falling, is falling. Mercy is falling like a sweet spring rain. Mercy is falling, is falling all over me, over me, over me, over me. Ayo, I receive your mercy. Ayo, I receive your grace. Ayo, I will dance forevermore. Mercy is falling, is falling, is falling. Mercy is falling like a sweet spring rain. Mercy is falling, is falling all over me, over me, over me. Mercy is falling, is falling, is falling. Mercy is falling like a sweet spring rain. Mercy is falling, is falling all over me, over me, over me. Ayo, I receive your mercy. Ayo, I receive your grace. Ayo, I will dance forevermore. Ayo, I receive your mercy. Ayo, I receive your grace. Ayo, I will dance forevermore. One more time, you guys. Here we go. Mercy is falling, is falling, is falling. Mercy is falling like a sweet spring rain. Mercy is falling, is falling all over me, over me, over me. Ayo, I receive your mercy. Ayo, I receive your grace. Ayo, I will dance forevermore. I will dance forevermore. I will dance forevermore. Good job, guys. <clears throat> oh, that's my favorite part. I could I kept messing up those lyrics or the uh, the motions, but I, that's my favorite part. That I will dance forevermore. I love doing the dance moves. That's the best part. Oh, it's the best part. So much fun. Oh, and that's that song is so true to you guys. Mercy is falling, is falling, is falling. Mercy is falling like a sweet spring rain. Guys, that's what God's mercy is like to us. It's like rain. It just washes over us. Guys, we've talked about mercy before. Mercy is when we get a second chance, even when we don't deserve it. And that's exactly what we got. When we sin, when Adam and Eve sin in the garden, we deserve death. We deserve to die because we are born sinful. But God gave us the greatest gift in his son, Jesus. And because of his son, Jesus, we are in right relationship with God. And he gives us mercy after mercy after mercy, 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 falling like a sweet spring rain. Isn't that good news? 
Oh my goodness, I'm so thankful for second chances. Because if I didn't have any second chances, we would be in so much trouble. Oh my goodness. I'm so thankful the Lord is a God of mercy. Okay, the next song we're going to do is called Goodness of God. This song is beautiful. It's got some great lyrics to it. No hand motions for this one. We're just going to sing praises to the Lord, okay? Y'all sing it out. I love you, Lord, for your mercy never fails me all my days. I've been held in your hand from the moment that I wake up till the day I lay my head. I will sing of the goodness of God. my life you have been faithful all my life you have been so so good with every breath that I am able I will sing of the goodness of God let's keep going guys that's so beautiful I love your voice You have led me through the fire In darkest night You are close like no other I've known you as a father I've known you as a friend I have lived in the goodness of God my life you have been faithful all my life you have been so so good with every breath that I am able I will sing of the goodness of God Your goodness is running after, it's running after me. Your goodness is running after, it's running after me. With my life laid down, I surrender now, I give you everything. Your goodness is running after. to scroll through the lyrics there for a second that's a beautiful song though i love that's that's has some really good lyrics in it you guys all my life you have been faithful all my life you have been so so good with every breath that i am able i will sing the goodness of god guys that's what we need that's what we should do the lord has been so good and so gracious and so loving and so kind and generous and compassionate towards us why would we not worship him with all that we are? We should lift our voices to him, just like you guys were doing now. With every breath that I am able, I will sing of the goodness of God. That's what we should do, you guys. That's what God wants us to do. He loved us first, and so we love him in return. And we sing with our voices, with every breath that we're able. We sing the goodness of God. I'm so proud of you guys for singing the goodness of God this morning. That is wonderful. I am so proud of you guys for following Jesus. And I want you guys to know and always to remember the Lord loves you more than you can ever imagine. He loves you so much. 
and he'll never leave you. And I love you guys very much too. Not as much as God does. No one can love you as much as God does, but I love you guys very much. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Y'all have a good one. Bye. Paul wrote a letter to the church at Corinth. Years after Paul helped start the church in Corinth, the believers there were facing problems. One problem was that the church was divided. The people did not always get along or agree about what was most important. The believers met in small groups and had different leaders. Some groups were arguing that their leaders were better than others. One person would say, I belong to Paul. Another would say, I belong to Apollos, or I belong to Peter, or I belong to Christ. Paul wanted this to stop. Is Christ divided? Paul asked. Of course not. Jesus came to bring people together as one body, brothers and sisters in God's family. Christians should not fight about which human leader has the most wisdom or strength. What is most important is the gospel. Paul said, the word of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but it is the power of God to us who are being saved. God uses what seems foolish to the world, that is God, the Son giving up his life for us, in order to bring salvation to the world. Paul also reminded the church that believers cannot boast about themselves or other people. No human is as wise or powerful as God. When Paul preached, he didn't use fancy words so that people would think he was smart. He simply shared the good news about Jesus. Everyone in the church is united around Jesus, who died on the cross for our sins. He is God's wisdom and power. When we remember the gospel, we can live in unity with others. Other things, like immaturity and foolishness, cause division in the church. Paul wrote his letter to help the believers in Corinth. He told them many things about how to follow Jesus. Believers should live in such a way that people see them and know they belong to Jesus. Paul told the believers in the Corinthian church to come together because of the gospel. He reminded them that Jesus saves sinners. Because of Jesus and what he has done, believers can humbly come together as one body.